Good evening. My name is Nigeria Chambers. I'm from Big Go Belt Media. Love you. It's a pleasure to talk to you today. Yes, yeah, such a pleasure. With your role, Mary Sims on the new series, Manhunt. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Um, for all my power fans and listeners, just <laughs> want to make sure I give you your flowers for the work that you've done on Raising Canaan. Thank you. Uh, I'll be remiss if I didn't mention that, and I wish we could kind of get into theories there, <laughs> but there's really so much to talk about with Manhunt here mm -hmm. and with the limited time. I just want to ask you, uh, when you take a role such as Mary Sims, who I'm a little bit of a history buff, so I, I, I knew something uh, little parts about this character, uh, this person, um, but this 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 series this really enlightened me into so much because in, in in the text, or should I say, in in the records, it seems like her contribution, while it is monumental, but very thinly printed. Mm -hmm. But we see that she was attested to a lot of different things. I mean, you can go as far as saying that, like you know, she was one of the educated. Uh, Negroes on her plantation, and she decided to teach others, which is extremely dangerous. And then she doubled down and laid the testimony against Dr. Samuel Mudd. Uh, when, when you, when you, well, as 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 our culture continues to share and tell Black history and stories, well, just what sense of importance did you feel in terms of stepping into this role? Yeah, because there wasn't a lot on Mary Sims, I did just want to bring humanity to it. So, like, we did have a limited amount of knowledge on what we did know about her. So it was working with that, but also kind of, like, filling in the blanks because back then there is no written history because they didn't care enough to write the history. So, you know what I mean? So it is a privilege to tell it. So it is it was a responsibility on my part to play this role. Agreed, agreed. And then um, even the tidbit of, of, of her going to Howard, it's big. It's like a big, big deal. Mm -hmm. um, so I really love how um, they, they gave so much life and importance to Mary Sims. Yeah. Um, and, and you did a fantastic job with it. Um, I, I definitely want to ask you a little bit beyond just your character, just how much of a history buff would you consider yourself and, and how much uh, independent research did you do in terms of stepping into this role? I'm not too big, like, not like a crazy history buff, but um, in regards to like the Black Panthers and like that era, yeah, I am a history buff, buff. So like, no, like the idea of oppression and the idea of like knowledge being a sacred thing, a, a dangerous thing, all of these things made me want to play Mary Sims for that exact reason, because I do know that, yeah, like they, I, I don't I don't know too much about what happened around that time so also getting the scripts and knowing all of this these things that happened before the assassination assassination uh, during and after it was just like oh wow okay cool so that's what bravery looked like in that era for black people to like you know yeah a, th a thousand percent and uh, you know when I when I think about what she's done it, easily bravery comes down um, to one of the biggest words, selfishness, because she risked her her own well-being to protect her brother and mm -hmm. to also give education um, to the other blacks uh, mm -hmm. that was she she, she was surrounded yeah. by. Uh, when you have to describe her, and, and whether you're talking to friends or mm -hmm. you know you just want to let folks know, like, hey, I'm playing this very important role with this character, this person you may never never heard of. What are some of the attributes that you also contribute besides uh, bravery? I would say. There is a stillness to um, Mary that you kind of see that is um, granted only because of oppression, because she's not able to react as fast or react as fully. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I definitely want to say that, again, just a fantastic uh, role that you played here, really tapping into some raw emotions, uh, emotions that are triggering for viewers, but I could imagine you stepping into it. Just really quickly for my last question, mm -hmm. when you have to sort of decompress out of this role, what are mm -hmm. some of the tools that you used? Um, I, I do think everybody has like a different blueprint to peace, but for me, like something that I have found along the years for me personally, is just like when I do get off of a set, just like moving my body, like kind of having that alone time to kind of like re bring it down and kind of assess myself by myself with myself just to make sure I'm good. And yeah, yeah. lots of sleep. <laughs> That's so important. Yeah. And, and once again, thank you, thank you for your time today. But folks, yes, you can check out Manhunt coming to Apple TV Plus. Those first two episodes are dropping March 15th. Love you. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.